And welcome back, Wargaming Enthusiasts, to Blackguards, where we are um, basically walking around Meng Billa and finding trouble on every step. And uh, I've done most of my equipment uh, stuff. Uh, there's uh, two more items on the agenda. One of them is One figuring out two. is figuring out what this curious blade option here is all about. Seen steel like this before. Interesting. This must be black steel. Ah, yes, black steel. This blade what is that? Is quite intriguing. Is it? So, what is this blade? Seemed quite worthless to me. Have you ever heard of Bloodletter? A no. legendary spear said to have once belonged to the rulers of Mengbilla. They say all nine of its blades are made of black steel. I see. Oh, spear. Quite right. Mengbilla has long been associated with the god of battle. But I see. Bloodletter was lost in the first guild war. It seems you found a piece of it. Huzzah. I suspect that there are a total of nine pieces as a core spear consists of nine blades. Sounds like a dumb idea. Okay, well, I thought that might give us something to uh, look for, but turns out it's just like a uh, collecting bullshit quest. Um, all right, well, what do you have to offer? there's one more thing. Um, we haven't really... Um, so we've got quite a lot of stuff. I sold out most of it. Um, there's a composite bow here that I generally like as an option. And I'm thinking about that as a sort of weapon for, uh, like a secondary weapon for our uh, friend Aurelia there. Um, I'm also thinking of her as a kind of, ooh, arbalest. Yeah. <laughs> uh, belly crossbow, isn't it? Uh, I'm thinking of giving her a heavy dagger, so she do wheel daggers, basically. Uh, maybe that would work. Um, I can't really find anything that's particularly better than what uh, we've got already, so... Uh, we've, we see... Well, we see that, but... That goes, I can't really uh, compare it, can I? 7 to 12. I need to, I'll need to go back and um, look at my own equipment. Two-handed swords are a plenty halberd, though. Mm. Yeah, so there might be some stuff I might be getting. Two-handed bashing, two-handed bashing. 7, 12 infantry damage. I don't remember how much we're doing now. Um, glaive, 6 to 11 infantry damage. Doesn't sound quite as good. Uh, four to nine, but better initiative, I suppose. Nah. So so. Um. Right, some some shields there. Metal shield. Machete and quite a lot of stuff we sold uh, to them, which is slave deaths mostly and stuff like that. Um, so I'm thinking about getting uh, some weapons. I need to compare, uh, compare. Uh, sorry, lost my train of thought there. Uh, I need to compare some of these uh, these things that are here in the store with our character, which I forgot to do. Um, I did it with other stuff, but not here in the store. I am also thinking of getting a complete chainmail for Norim. Chainmail. Yes, please. We can certainly afford. We've got tons and tons of money. Um, so that's 25. Uh, we need chainmail boots, right? That's a complete armor set, isn't it? Uh, chain. We got chainmail, chainmail boots. We need the chainmail quaff, coif, sort of thing. There we go. And we need chainmail chausses. And that's all of it. Let's figure that out. So long. Bye. Alright. Norem. Strip. <laughs> um There we go. 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 Now we're cooking with charcoal. That looks good on you. What's your weapon? 5 to 15 infantry damage. So quite a lot more random and lower attack. Let's actually get this in here for a minute and we'll compare, the, compare it on the fly. Let's get your uh, 
Lorem's battle axe over here. And that gets your Jara over here and compare. What have you got? A long dagger. Let's also compare that. Uh, yeah, I, equi I equipped her to a long dagger and a buckle, um, which looks rockin', but I don't think it's actually quite useful. Like I said, she's mostly a spellcaster right now. I also tried looking for a four slot belt, but I couldn't find one. Uh, we could use some of those. We've got quite a lot of potions that we just are not using. Overall, I can certainly start using more potions. In fact, here I have a potion. And you can have a potion. Yes. And you can have a potion. There we go. Um, and let's go back to the smith. Uh, what do you have to hello, yes. So tell us more. Well, first of all, let's get rid of... Uh, I forgot to look at the armor. God damn it. <laughs> we'll be back. Um, short bow. Do we need the short bow? Well, we can keep the short bow. I mean, bloody hell. Um, yeah, let's compare axes. What kind of axes have you got? There's these fencing weapons too here, um, which I really, really would like to get some of them. Uh, but I don't think I quite have the use, and I certainly don't feel like training anybody. Um, there's uh, daggers. Let's take a look at daggers then. Long dagger. Um, 4 to 9 piercing. 4 initiative. 8 attack, 6 parry, as opposed to dagger, which is 2 to 7, so not as good piercing damage. Um, worse in every way, I suppose. Heavy dagger, 4 to 9 piercing damage, which is similar, not as good initiative, and slightly heavier. Um, that sounds like something we could get. So, yeah, she could, uh, the, uh, no. Aurelia could be dual wielding daggers. Uh, then again, I don't think she has the dual wielding trait just yet. So we'll leave her with the rocking uh, buckle. Uh, well, we can compare that here. How, how's the armor look like? Brigantine. How is that looking? How's that look against like a Brabac coat? Brabac coat is worse, is it? Interesting. How about something like Lady Tamar is also worse, mostly. All right. Um, Bosporan Kiras is better in almost every way, I see. And, uh, okay, Brabe code we check. Okay. So we might be exchanging the Brigantine for a Brabac on uh, our jungle man. Um... Oh god, this is taking forever, I'm very sorry about that, I thought I'm done with this. Uh, buckler, I think we can sell that. I don't think we need a, buck a buckler. Yeah. Um, now, back here, uh, what did we get? We need uh, axes, what are the axes like? Spears, spears, bastard sword, cleavers, cleavers we know are no good, great swords, glaive, okay, these are um, infantry, not infantry weapons, the, uh, this. Um, so this is actually better, it says, because, well, it has better attack and better parry, I suppose. It's got better damage, 1d6 plus 4, whereas here is 2d6 plus 2. How is that better? Plus one as well. I honestly think this is better, 2d6 plus, plus 2 is better than 1d6 plus 4, but whatever. Halberd, 1d6 plus 5. Now here, because the minimal damage is low, is, is, is greater than my minimal damage, then I can kind of see that, but still, this can, this can take out 15. Whereas this is only 12. At Maximum. It's 2d6, right? 2d6, yeah. Storm Scythe. 1d6 plus 3. Not worth my time. 2d6 plus 3. 6 to 16. Better in attack parry. Worse at initiative. Okay. And heavier. 
power blow knockdown, but I do like it. Hmm. And then I'd have to get rid of this because I can't carry both. Okay. Um, right. Jara compared to Ranser. Ranser has better damage apparently. 1d6 plus 4, 1d6 plus. What? You lie to me, sir, about the damage. Attack is 1, attack is 0. No, the Ranser is worse off. Um, shield, shield, shields, machete, slave death. Okay. Do we get the Warhammer? Do we get the Warhammer? Bashing damage versus infantry damage. I'd really like to get both, to be honest. Can we get both? Uh, just slightly better. Well, it's better at attack a lot, I think. Well, just one better. Better at parry. No, it's the same at parry. Initiative is minus three, and it's minus three here. Okay. Minus three, minus three. Mm. This might not be worth it then. I'll hold off then. Um, yeah, th there we go. My shopping expedition, is it? Um, okay, we buy, we'll buy one thing. We'll buy a composite bow. And we'll sell the short bow. And while we are still overburdened a lot. Oh, right, because we need to get rid of that armor. So long. Uh, let's do that then. Bloody hell. Such a lot of housekeeping. And I've been doing this off screen as well, which is even more annoying. Uh, maybe we'll sell these torches. But they don't weigh as much. Yeah, you get yours back. There we go. Looking good. You, you're fine. You. Brigantine, 30, 20, 20, 10. 30, 20, 10, 10. Okay, so Brigantine is better than this. Uh, it's certainly more expensive. Okay. Well done. Uh, Brigantine Shoss. That looks good on you. Uh, all right. Yeah, it's certainly everything is better like that. Um, and your weapon, sir, is the Jara. There we go. All righty then. Um, you, you get your long dagger back and your buckle, and we're going to keep you like that for now. But you're also going to get the uh, bow, and we're going to try. and uh, teach you how to use it. Sinew cutter we can probably sell, blunt bolt we can probably sell. I don't see myself going into crossbows anytime soon. I need to sell this armor, I need to figure out what's our weight are, uh, at at the moment. You can't wear that, right? Yeah. You could, well you can't. You can't, you can't, and you've already got one. I really don't like this, uh, this armor, but it works, so gonna keep it for now um hmm. smith hello again i need to sell some more stuff to you this 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 um this and the gladiator gloves we also don't need we're gonna leave the tricorn and stuff we 128 for 128 most because of our provisions yeah that's the truth uh, weapons, we also don't need that, and we also don't need that, but that's not gonna change anything, right. Yeah. This is also pretty light. Also too cool to sell, to be honest. Um, alright. Oh my goodness. Takes forever. Uh, bolt trap. We're not, we're never using that. Throwing daggers we might, because now we're going to be up against those bloody things, those uh, snails and things. So long. You don't want to get near them, so I've heard. So instead of our usual setup of healing potions, we're going to actually prepare uh, for the slugs. Um, here you can take some javelins, that's a fairly Greek weapon there. 
Um, you can not take that. You can take a throwing axe instead, which seems to be a thing for you. Uh, I mean, it works. Uh, you could take some items, like a weak healing potion. No. A weak healing potion, take it. And an astro potion. You have plenty. Take that away from you and give you a javelin instead. And you... You're fine. You can throw for shit anyway, and you've got that boat. Um... Actually, let's take a look at your skill for one more time. Bloody hell, so... I'm sorry. I thought I did handle most of it. Uh, let's spend some points on bows here. Yeah. Just so you can use that bow a little bit. All right. Fine. What are our quests? I forgot now. It's been a long time since we've done anything like a quest. Poison and slugs... Core Spear side quest, the old box, we can go back there, the beggar girl, uh, right. Uh, poison and slugs, we should do that, I think. And the color of kings, oh, and this. Uh, Oirina, we have no idea where that is, so we can't go find it. There's also a lot of towns around that we can take a look at. But let's do the Color of Kings quest first. That sounds like the thing for us to do. Um, so, the Color of Kings, that's a side quest actually. Um, how do I tell it that this is the one I want? This, this one. Well, I suppose the same one as this one. All right. Anyway, let's go find that bloody captain. Duh. Uh, he was in the Dreamweed Quarter, I think? Alright. Ah, sorry, I get uh, annoyed when I have to do this sort of stuff. Um, not a sort of spreadsheet kind of guy, to be honest. But I think we've got... Uh, the thing is, the equipment we've got at the beginning of the game seems to be at least comparable to everything we're finding now, which is kind of annoying, because we, we could get all of this stuff, all of this cool stuff, but there's no point to it. The only thing that's really worth upgrading is armor, for the most part, anyway. Uh, but uh, the brigantine armor we also got pretty pretty uh, far back, and it's working fine. So, yeah, the, the only really big expense that we've got so far is the armor that I gave to Norim. Um, yeah, so it's, it's it's annoying that I can't really buy anything, <laughs> so I'm doing all this uh, looking around the shops and stuff like that. Uh, in Mengbil at least, and there's just nothing. Uh, Alright. CAPTAIN! Just tell El Haras he will get his shipment as soon as I... Oh, Who is sorry. El Haras? I took you for someone else. That's okay, that happens a lot. Anyway, you don't want us to take us for us, we are dangerous criminals. Um, we would like to go to Morfu Island. I don't know what, what is Aldinia. Morfu Island. Test to the island of the Morfus. <laughs> not a chance. I'm not risking my ship, nor my crew. Menhal was certain you would do us this favor. Menhal? I should never have had dealings with that alchemist. Indeed. Come on. Uh, let's go fight some pirates then. And slugs. And also take eat some of our bloody provisions and get rid of them. Just generally get rid of them. Um, we've got too many, and they're weighing us down. Hello. I think that was the worst experience in my life. Let's pray there's a tunnel to the mainland. The island of the Morphus certainly lives up to its name. Don't worry, the beasts are peaceful. They seem okay. rather aggressive to me. Also big. Um, hello, Morphus. Um... Tell you what, <clears throat> um, I think it would be a good idea to have a lackey to die for us. So we're going to cast this um, here ish so that he cannot pass. Ah, oh, bloody hellfire. All right, you wait. You wait. I don't know what those things do exactly, but I seem to remember you don't want to get too close to them. And that's what they said as well, I think. So, um, yeah. Memory of a goldfish today, though, for some reason. 
probably still sick. Here, have a fireball. Eight fire damage. Not particularly susceptible to fire them. And pretty quick as well. Well, um, I guess we'll just hit it until it dies. <clears throat> so far, so good. Die, sir! At least they're easy to hit. Wow, only four. Wow. Uh, um, probably won't knock you down, so let's go for a heavy strike. Oh, for nine only. That's not too good. Move you back. Try to prevent you from moving in. There we go. You fight that guy and we'll fight everybody else. How about that? Ah, he dodges. Um, what can you do, sir? Nothing. And he hits it for 11. That's better than any of us. Ah. How about you? Um, let's move you back, back here. Is there anything particularly interesting we could do? Not really, so let's just throw a fireball like we do. Oh, seriously. Um, um, that looks... That what it did looks dangerous. Know what? I am going to move myself back here, thank you very much. Um, you, my lady, are going to throw some spells around. Which don't work on Morphos very well. You're going to move back here. You're going to continue attacking. You're going to also withdraw. And you're going to also withdraw, because that thing looks like it's going to kill somebody. Um, <clears throat> I imagine it's going to blow up with spikes. Ah, that worked. Ah, it's almost dead, too. All right. We've cracked your system. Prepare to die! Prepare to die better! Okay, I'll we'll move you here. Um, move you here. Um, can you actually poke him to death? He's got only. There we go. Well, at least it doesn't do anything particularly nasty on dying. Let's move away. Uh, don't remember these. Targeted stab, faint, death blow. Death blow sounds like our best bet, right? There we go, 10 points. I like this shadow dude. It's really doing a great job. Um, Die, will you? And the slug is heavily wounded now. Uh, you can wait. You can kind of sort of wait. Okay, we need to kill it now. Um, let's throw around some fireballs. Seven points, nice. Uh, you wait. You wait. You guys should be able to inflict eight points of damage, right? Yes. Okay, good job. That wasn't so hard. I don't think we actually took any damage. Mortals. You frighten my flock. Name your nurturer. Nurturer? Is it the silver haired human? Maybe. What is the lizard talking about? Should I help um, The alchemist, skin? right? The, uh, what's her name? Uh... The Morphoos belong to you. My clan. I breed them and I guard them. Oh, those ugly giant slugs. Their appearance is meaningless. We are interested in their venom and slime. So are we, as it turns out. Silverhead human. A female, I believe. She sends her brood to slaughter my flock. Oh, Black the bastards. Humans, males and females. White hair. 
That could be that Miramis. Yeah, Miramis, yeah. Miramis. That is her name. She desires the venom of my Morphus. I told her she cannot have it. She sent black and white humans and killed four of my beasts. My brood is unhappy. Tell Understandably so. Is she still on the island? No. She has returned to your land. Um, are there other Where humans? Are other humans? Camped in a bay to the east, below the four-cornered castle. Ask them to leave my flock alone, and tell their nurturers the humans do not bury their trash. This is bad. Sure thing. I must return to my flock. Yeah, no worries. The pirates might be able to tell us something about Miramis. Why should we tackle those pirates? Let's kill that rotten son of a dragon and his rotten slug flock of slugs. Then we'll have our venom. You do what you think is right. I will wait for you here. Oh, you're here? Well, alright. Got 50 AP and no loot. Apparently Morphus don't carry cash around. Um, probably switched to credit cards a long time ago. The sophisticated persons that they are. Yeah, okay, so we killed some farmer slugs. Uh, there's a whole bunch of places to go. Morphu Herd, Pirate Bay, Fork in the Road, Fork in the Road. You find a fork in the road, you pick it up. Um, let's go pick one up. Nothing. Uh, more for her. Let's go bother the pirates first. There, in the bay, the pirates uh. are loading their ship. Wait, there are more of them up in the castle, and they have crossbows. Maybe we'd better deal with them first. We burn the place to the ground. Fortress, pirate bay. Uh. Uh. Um, two popular um, pop culture icons. Let's go to the fortress first. I don't know. I don't know if it matters, but whatever. I'm planning to uh, kill off everybody on this island one by one. I mean, we kind of have to anyway. The Morphus, the pirates, whatever. Set the three barrels of oil next to the buildings on fire to sabotage the pirate lookout. Do I have tutorial turned on again? Um, what barrels? Oh, these, I suppose. Well, we can turn put things on fire, right? There's a wall here that we can hide behind. We've got people here. They have got crossbows, I suppose. Um, let's wait what they do. Do you have any of that potion? Still... You do. I can drink that then. Okay. Uh, you can wait. Let them come to us. Um, alright. So... Uh, what can we do with you and your... Fireballs? Nothing, because we don't have line of sight. But if we were here, we would have line of sight, right? Kind of, maybe. Did that do anything? I don't know. Uh, Avanti! Quite a lot of things I'd like to do with Zerberan here, like I'd like to make a little wall of fire so they can't cross, although that would need... Uh, I can't do that, that's not... Uh, the, the choke point is not good enough. Uh, 
Does this guy have a crossbow or what? I don't know. Um, so what do we do? Well, we move up. Let's try to take care of these two guys first. Maybe we'll send Norem down here to take care of these two guys. With his new armor and stuff. I'm sure that's gonna be fine. Uh, you... Mm, there we go. Nice and wounded now. Um, we can move you up here. And you could help us out with... I'm kind of curious what this does, but I can't use it anywhere. Nope, nope. Oh well. Let's use this then. What do you do? Let's stun you. There we go. Yeah, now you have to go around apparently. You're going to move up here. And just straight up up here. And this guy seems like something we don't like. Although, mm, they... Yeah. Let's try to knock him down and we succeed for, for a change. So that's nice. Now we're gonna get pelted. Ow. We get pelted hard. Um, so where are those things? Can't really fire at any of them. Uh, Let's fire at this guy then. There we go. And here, let's try to finish this guy off as best we can. Move down here. And have at you, sir. Thou rogue. Ow. So Takate took a couple of hits. Uh, where the hell is he? Yeah, it's still okay-ish. Yeah, that's kind of getting into this one-on-one -on -one fight, which is a little bit... It's not how we do things, really. Uh, we'll move back. Try to wound you as well. There we go. Um, did he actually suffer any wounds? No, but he did lose quite a lot of his health. Um, we'll move you down here and we'll try to use something like this on you. There we go. That could work. Oh, nicely done. That I like. Yeah, you can handle both of them, right? Probably. There we go. 10 points of damage, slowly but surely, we'll figure it out. Um, Zerberan... Now it might be time for you to pick up some of those Astro Points. There you go, back up. Certainly my um, overabundance of uh, potions is uh, slowly dissipating there. Then we have another thing we could do. Yeah, we could knock down too, right? Not that we're going to right now, but it's a thing that we can do. In general terms. Alright. They're getting up. Oh, I thought they were dead-ish. Okay, Norim needs some help. Um, which is fine. We're going to get you down here. And we'll poke you. Maybe we'll get the other... G well... Here, have some uh, health points back. There we go. Owie. Alright. At least the crossbowmen aren't really doing us any uh, harm. Uh, hmm. Let's go for that one, maybe we can knock him out. Yes, we can. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Let's move you down here. And let's try for a knockdown again. Why not? That didn't work. Alright, um, and up here, 
can move like that. Let's try the Q down as well. Didn't work either. All right. Uh, well, we'll move it back here. Uh, Aurelia we're going, is going to have to handle the situation on her own. Targeted stab. Poke. And yeah, that looks okay. The uh, crossbowmen are going at it again. No, you, 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 you. What do you do? Let's go annoy the crossbowmen then, if we can. Yes, we can. Nicely done. Ow. All right, Norim. Take this guy out, please, for me. Ah, you fail. Oh, wow, we got plenty of hurt. That's gonna be that's gonna be a little annoying for the rest of the uh, adventure here on the island, but that's fine. Going to manage somehow. We really did get hurt. Maybe I'm a little cocky with these pirates then. Um, nah. Here, go help out. Um, you get healed a little, not quite enough, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, you've got plenty of points left, so get we're going away. to get another hit in you, and now we're going to leave you to Aurelia. And, uh, I wanted to avoid that, I don't know if I have the potential to heal that. Um, here we'll go over there. You will go over there. I will take care of them soon enough. Meanwhile, you two have to take care of um, this uh, crossbow over here without the help of Norim, who is down. Which is doable, I suppose. I mean, Aurelia is not bad at this game, but... Okay, yeah, they all switch to blades. Just fine by me. Let's try to knock you over. Didn't work. Uh, let's try for something. Ah! How annoying. Stab, stab. Nope. Ow! Let's see now. Um, let's get Norm back up, I suppose. There we go. Didn't know I had the mana, but I do. Move it up, up here. Wait. Um, please finish this guy off. Ah, these pirates are tougher than they look. Move, and we'll poke. There we go. Um, move, and we're poke. We'll poke. Stab, stab. Ow. Okay, that's not so bad. But man, are we hurt? Poke. Norum. There we go. One down. Two to go. But we've got our best fighters on the job. There we go. And... Ah, one hit point left. Well, okay. Do we need to destroy those barrels or what? Like, what's the game here? Let's move Penthesilea up and finish this guy off. Come on. 
Yeah, it looks like we do need to destroy those. Um, all right. Well, hmm. Um, how do we do that exactly? Are we supposed to destroy them with fire? Well, there's a there's a, uh, a torch up there. Yeah, let's just try and poke them and see what happens, and we'll see what happens. It's not like... We're already hurt plenty, so it's probably fine, maybe, kind of, sort of. Yeah, go on. Wait. Wait. Poke. Okay. Uh, now what? <laughs> Oh, okay. I get it. Do that. We do that. And then we go and we... Um, we set it on fire. Um, yeah, you wait. Let's give our guys a chance to get out from there. There we go. I still got hit. Uh, Ow. Well, let's do the last one smart. Oh, God. So I suppose I was supposed to kill all of them. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, whatever. There we go, that's how we're supposed to do it. <laughs> Man. <laughs> this could have been done so elegantly, but I just brute forced it all the way, just killed off everybody. Who the hell cares about your stupid traps and your stupid little puzzle, right? <laughs> well, like I said, we're already plenty hurt, so it doesn't really matter a whole bunch. Uh, let's check out our... Yeah, let's rest. Let's see if we got any better at actually applying bandages to ourselves. Yes. Oh, it worked! Wow! Bandage. Ah, didn't work. Worked! Oh my goodness. These are useful for something now. Good. Alright, well then, let's continue to the Pirate Bay. Shut their servers way down. Um, alright. Yeah. And battles here are full of puzzles and traps and things that you can use to your advantage or you can sometimes kind of sort of just bash your way through. Defeat all pirates and open the chest at the pier. Um, all right. Where are these pirates of which you speak? Okay, over there. Fine. Um, I see some pirates. I see some pirates with crossbows, some dangerous looking ones. I see... What was that button there? Tab, control... Could press something to see switches, right? Um, wow, I'm... <laughs> my terrible memory in me. Um, uh, highlight interactive object V. V. There we go. Those things. How do we operate those? Probably have to get there. Hmm. Maybe we'll bash our way through this one as well. I don't know. Wait, there's this though. That looks slightly dangerous. Like you don't want to get stuck underneath that, I suppose. Can I? No. Uh, Alright, let's wait then. 
Let's see what happens. Because that looks like a crate that could fall on somebody, and those bridges look important too. And I don't know what exactly am I supposed to be doing here. There's that chest, I know that. Hmm. Let's move like this. Hello. Like, I don't see the problem that needs to be solved by those bridges right now, so that's that's why I'm a little worried. Uh, sure, you can fire at this guy. 14 points of damage, nice. Oh, I see. You don't want to be standing there, then. Okay, you'll go this way. Um, you will also go this way. You will go this way. And you're still pretty bad at bows, but it will do. Ah. You wait, you wait. You can fire off another shot, I suppose. Ah. Parries, but it ate his parry, so that's fine. Aha! We parry that targeted stab. And we... Retort in kind. Alright. <laughs> Okie doke. What do we do here exactly? Um, let's use a small fireball on this guy. All oh, right, I see the problem that needs to be solved by that. If they block off this direction, then we can't get through, can we? Clever. Um, all right. Well, we'll just stab you and go through you. Jeez. It's not like it's a problem. Who's next? There we go. Like that. Except more. Move you here. Are there any more of these? No. Poke. Nora will move here. Slash you. There we go. Um, I actually try to move up here and try to use our bow to eliminate that guy. There we go. It did something. All right. Oh, <laughs> okay, fine. Waste your potions on us. See if I care. Um, we'll move you. We'll, mo we'll move you here. There we go. They don't want to click there for some reason. Um, we'll strike you in the behind with a bunch of flames. For 9 points of damage, which isn't great, but okay. And... So I assume this goes in a sort of circly motion. So I don't want to be... Like right there, when where my turn will allow me to go. I want to be somewhat here, so that I can dash through that, that, that distance. Um, you know what, just move back here and comfortably continue shooting at you for 60%, eating your parries. There's three bastards with crossbows there. Ah, really, how many of those have you got? Pirates. Have at you! There we go. Uh, four points. Sorry, for uh, number four fireball. For eight points. Pretty good. Yeah, okay. So he blocked me off there. 
I get it. I get it. That's fine. No big deal. You can stay here, you can stay here. Move you down here. You will stay here. You can... Ah, bloody hell. I moved in the way, but I can attack you from this angle. Four points of damage, which isn't much, but it's something. I, mean, I feel useful. Okay. The crossbow and I are doing a very good job because they're so far away, but I imagine when we get closer we'll be getting hit quite a lot more. Um, right, I think this will finish him off. Um, so what will happen now is we're going to move you here. We'll see what they do with that. Um, but basically what I think might, will happen is uh, I'll move here, then I will move here, I think this is still safe, and wait, wait here, move here, and wait, and try to provoke them by putting more people on the left side and the right side to uh, switch the crate again. Um, failing that, we'll just run across. I don't know whether that's safe either. <laughs> but... Yeah, there we go. Oh, so that wasn't. <laughs> I see. Uh, but what we want to do now is try and do this. And just get that guy. Alright. Uh, one more turn, I suppose. There we go. So this is save, I assume. They're not going to be a turning that of their own free will just yet. Uh, but... Hi. We'll just fireball you to death and see what you do. Um, because you guys are not so tough, actually. You can wait. You can go here and wait. Uh, Aurelia can wait. Which I suppose is not the best tactic against, uh, you know, um, crossbowmen. Just stand there, but it's the best I've got. Um, number three fireball for... Oh, actually, number four fireball for you. There we go. I kind of figured that would be enough. And we've got those two crossbowmen over there. And now we go here. And you wait. No problem. Um, and you, sir are going down. There we go. Wait. Ah. Zerberan is having a bit of trouble. Ah, gods, there's two of them. There we go. That works for us. And we're all back in the fight. Uh, which means you can go here. Actually, you can go all the way here, because you're out of magics. Okay, that guy's confused. You guys can move in. And we'll be ending this pretty promptly, I think. For example, I have a bow that I can use and shoot at you. Ow. OK, 
Okay, you move in closer. Uh, you move in closer still. You are sort of in trouble there. Yeah, you're moving in. And we'll disassemble them in short order, I, I think. Well, go here. Ah! Well then, sir. I have an arrow for you. There we go. Uh, meanwhile, you've done your job. You're going back here. And waiting. And waiting. You're going here. And poking. Oh. Right, and that leaves one guy, and that's no problem. Hit. How about this, sir? All right. All we need to do now is press that chest, and we win. Right. What do you want? The venom? Take it. Where sure. do we find Miramis? Miramis? Oh, you don't know any. An alchemist. White hair. Your employer. Ah. All I know is that she pays well. She lives in Ozara, but don't ask me where. Ozara, eh? I won the battle! Huzzah! Uh, oh, we got a cutlass. Free cutlass. Take it all. Yeah, I think we need to rest again, though. Uh, we didn't get hurt, we have but... The venom. Back to the captain. Stop talking over me. Um, so, rest. Go back to the fork in the road. Nothing happened. Go back to the Morphos. Uh, like, to be honest, I'd rather trade with that um, farmer, but... Well... We're here. Turned. What do the mortals want? Your hide! No, not really. Really, all I wanted is like to trade but whatever uh if we don't move only one morpho can get through here so all we need to do is block the entrance so that only one can go through here well one yeah only one that's what we're doing and with that in mind we're going to cast this here Hello. Yeah, like, this guy really did nothing to us. So we're just attacking him for the hell of it, basically. Um, alright. Let's move up. Ah, oh, really? One of those. Okay, that thing is going to fire. Uh, let's see if we can get through here without hitting other one of those. No, we can't. God damn it. Going to be fighting this one on one. I hate those things, like, I really, really do. Oh, seriously. What can you do? We're just going to hit fireballs at the things until they die. But I'm really upset at those bloody bog holes. Like... <sighs> poison. Of course it's poison. Yeah, I'm gonna be sitting in that bog hole forever. 
as well. The plan went to shit. Um, yeah, let's attack that one then. They don't seem to be re um, regenerating or anything like that, so that's okay. Um, hold up here. Ah, oh, really? So those things are not attacking at all. They're just defending him. Yeah, yeah. Bog hole, whatever. Have at you. There we go. Mm, if I move here, probably find a bog hole. Can I? No, I can't. Also. One frame per second. On. reason I'll just 